Teofimo Lopez says activity will be key for him in 2024. Teofimo Lopez is hoping and he will give an impressive win over Steve Claggett in Florida this week. Hold on, let me start this one over. Again, tight. This is my last one. This five. <clears throat> Teofimo Lopez, the takeover, says activity will be key for him to remain on top in 2024. Let's dig into the article. Teofimo Lopez is hoping an impressive win over Steve Claggett in Florida this week is just another stop on a busy 2024 journey. Lopez has identified activity as being a key component of his career moving forward, keeping his skills sharp and keeping his name in the public domain by staying busy. Lopez, whose boxing record stands at 20 victories, one defeat, with 13 knockouts and the 26 year old last boxed in February scoring a lackluster decision win over a reluctant Ortiz, Jermaine Ortiz. His fight against, Clas uh, against Claggett who is 38-7-2 with 26 knockouts is designed to generate excitement one way or another. One way or another, we gon' get excitement. Will it be with the left or right? You, you let me know uh, in the comments. Back to this um article. It is for Lopez to reignite the flame that he once had, gain the momentum in his career he had last June, coming off his decisive win over Josh Taylor in New York to claim the WBO junior welterweight title at the james l knight center in miami beach claggett a 35 year old is the man charged of bringing out a different version of lopez to the one on display against ortiz lopez admitted that fighting four times a year is now a priority and he hopes to be out again in September and in December. People have got to understand it's about productivity. It's about staying active and that only brings the better version out of myself. We go back in my career of 2017 and 2018, I was fighting four or five times in that year, sometimes even six. So imagine and look how much I was better, 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 better. End quote from Tiafimo, or should I say Tiafimo? There was one fight in 2019, one in 2020, one in 2021, two in 2022, and just one last year. But Lopez also still wants to be tested, and Terrence Crawford remains at the top of his wish list as the competition goes and gets tougher there are the things this is why you see all these other fighters they look phenomenal but what class of fighters are they facing just because they're one time let me start that over just because this one time i'm doing something similar to their degree people shouldn't complain he, i've always faced the toughest fighters in the world including josh tater josh taylor who at the time was an undisputed world champion taylor lost three belts out of the ring and undefeated beat everyone in that weight division at the 140 pound division now we go into this part where we are just trying to stay active I spoke to my lawyer, Jimmy Cogan of Top Rank. I've spoke to them. I not his journey. I spoke to the lawyer, Jeremy Coglin of Top Rank. I spoke to the team. I spoke to everyone at Top Rank and said, "Listen. Just listen. I just want 3 4 
fights this year. I just want three to four fights this year. Get me active. Get me in the ring. Keep me motivated. Keep my juices just a flowing. Because that's the most important part. Me staying active. Everyone complains that I don't fight this guy. I don't fight that guy. And when I do, they're looking for somebody else. All I'm saying now at this point is just staying active and feeding my family with this and giving the fans what they want. And that's entertainment. That's who I am. That's who I am becoming. The takeover. End quote from Lopez. I added a couple in there to spice it up. Lopez is in the rich mix between the 135 to 140 pound division and he's been the top dog at both weights and fans will clamor for him to fight the likes of Gervonta Davis, Abdul Khawid, Shakur Stevenson and Devin Haney before he calls it a day. Claggett was condemned as a poor choice a poor choice by many but for lopez there's a method behind it and it goes back to staying relevant and active now we're just picking things back up he added doesn't mean i've lost what i've been doing i'm not even in my prime yet so imagine not even being in my prime and the amount of productivity I've been having after COVID. I'm happy for this new transition and this guy is coming to fight. Steve Classic, Steve Claggett is no pushover. He's number one in all of Canada and top 20 in my weight division. So I look forward to, to it being a great fight and showing everyone that I still got it. In quote from Tiafimo Lopez, this Saturday, I'm gonna be doing a live blow by blow. So subscribe to the channel right now so I can hit y'all upside the head and give you a live commentary concussion coming this Saturday. Tiafimo Lopez, he wanna stay active. He wanna fight three to four times in this calendar year. Y'all let me know your thought process in the comment section. Have a duck good one. Show.